play... Oh wait, I have, oh, I have the wrong Falcon here. I have Pan I, this is Panos, not Majersk. I apologize. But let's get it going between these two. I have the wrong Falcon player. Let's run it. Luckily, I fixed that out before we start talking about this match. So we have not seen Panos play... Uh, we've not seen Panos yet play on stream. We've seen the other talented Falco here. Panos is incredibly talented in the game. And an interesting start we're seeing here on FD. We're seeing this a lot from Wizrobe. Um, we saw at a... Ooh! Majority, I mean, Panos looking to just trade that stock there. We started, saw this as a starter a lot for Wizrobe at uh, Summit uh, recently. So I, I don't know if that was a recent development, but we saw exclusively from him starting out on FD against Fox and Falco. Um, okay, that should be the kill. Uh, it's even, you're given even more time to get that uh, combo lined up on that play. So let's see what Dark Gen X is able to keep this combo going here. Pretty strong combo game back and forth, especially on FD where these guys have a lot of room to freshly graze on these combos. Pasture-free combos out here. All right. But it's looking so far in Dark Gen X's favor. Dark Gen X is a, a player who uh, is one of the guys who helps TO Hacks Nightclub. So he's got a little bit more spare time to focus on the game uh, with the unfortunate uh, cancellation. A nice, really nice drift there. Almost getting the edge cancel to recover. But Panos isn't able to get back there. And Dark Gen X takes another stock and continues get, carrying on the lead here. And it looks like... Ooh, a lot of, we're seeing a lot of charred smashes again uh something where uh, a kind of greater storyline we're seeing players amongst this entire thing of if these charge forward charge smashes in various degrees are just a netflix kind of thing or are these tri-state east coast kind of players the kind of cheesers that pull off these kind of things getting the re-grab all right what's panos gonna get off this throw him off the stage going for edge guard he's gonna side b okay panos had the idea gonna follow the tech chase okay what are we gonna get a kill here with the up air. Okay, we got an edge guard opportunity. Where's he going to go? He went to ledge last time. Panos covers it all and is able to clear that stock out and keep it pretty even. Um, Panos showing that he's got a pretty good read on what uh, Dark Gen X is going to do in these tech situations. Getting that STI up to not get stuck in the jab reset. Really nice here. Okay, what's he able to get? Okay, again, another opportunity. What's he able to get out of it? Ah, mm. That little bit of chop might have affected him not getting the follow up on the grab there. Really unfortunate to see, but this is this is really anyone's game here. A few combos either way could go. Dark Gen X looking for that up smash to get this out. Maybe getting a little too antsy trying to finish out that stock. Wait, what's he got? Panos really incredible on these tech chases. Really nice to see following it up there. Gonna go for the stomp? Nah. Went for the stomp, just didn't place it correctly. Covering that. A little bit too slow reacting on the knee. All right, another edge guard opportunity. Goes out there, meets him. Gets ready with the knee, ends that stock, and after being down this entire match, he gets a nice couple of tech chases and able to bring it back in his favor. Really incredible comeback from Panos, staying strong and staying vigilant in, in those tech chase scenarios. Will he be able to get back, though? Get up attack gives him another chance. Ooh, the slide off. That was looking a little crispy. Panos kind of feeling himself. Should be able to get back here. Gets Does the old man get up? Does double jump to get out of the corner? Works. Um... Not seeing many punch there from Dark Gen X. Okay, what is he going to get? Up tilt. This probably won't be able to finish it off. Given the opportunity, he's going to Tekken. Tekken place. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a rock, paper, scissors. And Dark Gen X did not choose the right option there. They were at a standstill running it again. Another edge guard opportunity. Dark Gen X really has been a pretty good job at cleaning up these edge guards, or at least putting him in another scenario where he gets another opportunity to play rock, paper, scissors. But yeah, here we go. Last stock. A tight game both ways. Panos still has the lead here. If he's able to get a grab, I would be... Uh, scared to be Dark Gen X, but also I would be scared on the other favor if they're able to get a grab, but it looks like Panos is getting more mileage out of his punishes. And he might be able to finish this here. Gets the roll up. Okay, what's he got? Knee. Okay, can he finish it? He's going to side B the ledge. He's going to snap the ledge. Okay, Dark Gen X decides to the ledge. It's close. It's real close. He's going to go get him. Nah. Side B on. Uh-oh. He gets a decade to finish off that combo, and Panos takes game one. After Dark Gen X putting the pressure on early, but Panos stays strong. I really want to highlight how quality those tech chases are in those combos. He was getting, we saw especially on those last stocks, Panos was getting a whole lot more off his grabs than Dark Gen X was. So really, really solid to see from Panos on that. Panos looking poised to make it into winner's top eight, be facing off with the winner of Majerus versus JVAC, which we will probably be seeing. 
uh, soon after this. I, I, have a, I have a sinking feeling that JVAC is actually Kem. I haven't got the full confirmation. Kem, if you're in the chat, please let me know if that's actually you so we can make sure that's right on commentary. But yeah, let's see if Majerski is able to keep it going in this game with these incredible tech chases. And also, let's get very worried about this lag on the fountain, but we're, we're going to hope for the best here. Cool. So let's see what we've got. We're going to be looking for, I think from Dark Gen X, we're going to looking to see if he's able to get more off his combos here. And then with, uh, ooh, ooh, that's that's knowledge of one's character right there and knowledge of one's stage. And an incredible stock here, not able to get that final one to finish it off. But Banos is looking real. It just looks like he needed that that first game, that first half, the first game to wake up. He's looking poised to win this tournament. Nice tech there from Dark Gen X. But, dude, Banos is looking really good. Okay, letting him back there, kind of do we expect it? A weird opportunity, not really a great angle to choose there. Should be able to finish this off here. Ooh, okay. Will he get the tech? Okay, no, that's probably it. Panos looking so well. I, I'm I'm incredibly impressed with how well Panos is playing. Not that Dark Gen X is playing bad by any means, because Panos is getting so much off every opportunity and just continuing to keep in... Uh, oh, Panos bend it all on red there, but came up black and he's not able to get it as the stocks go back to pretty close to even okay what's he gonna get off there maybe commentator's curse not getting anything off that regrab maybe dark gen x is starting to mix up his opportunities no it was just one flub there nice short and mixing it up yeah we've seen dark gen x is is starting to have to go down the list of what he wants to do to recover and panos is just he's seeing the list come in he's reading it he's checking it twice dark gen x is playing nice but not so nice. Not able to do it here for him as Panos takes almost a full stock lead. Let's see. Again, we're looking to see if Dark Gen X is able to win neutral and capitalize off these opportunities. But it seems like Panos is just running the pace of this entire set. After after he took the lead game one, he has not let go. The stranglehold. He's hit that, that Falcon grab. Oh! Oh no. Oh no, is he gonna go get him? Oh, he he went to go get him. He went to go check those store shelves. He was looking to grab some toilet paper, but the shelves were empty and so was any more damage he was gonna get off that stock. And Dark Gen X looks like he's fallen into some of his bad habits there. Doing that, again, a side B on stage that Panos is just ready there to punish. It's not pretty. We're going to have to see a really nice gimp or a crazy combo here from Dark Gen X to turn this around, or it's looking like we will see... Panos, take this into, ooh, 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 I, you gotta go, Panos, like, you got, you gotta go, and that will do it, Panos moves into top eight, Panos looking so, 